And and Abantu who've never been in poverty love to comment about what poor people should be given and what poor people deserve because they don't understand how dehumanizing poverty is. Exactly, my bro. That thing is is a disease, man. I don't... I could write land of it. You know, that thing is designed, you know. It's designed and... I mean, I don't feel we don't see 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 You know, that's why I always tell people, and it's one of the thing. Yeah, a lot of people about on social media about Kulumanga when I was telling them that Logish is toxic. Cool, you know, Logish is toxic and in Lena, bro. If you really want to be successful, pull me Logish. Facing each other, ham bunga pege move out. That place is not conducive, bro. I key when you go back on the right approach, I fully agree. Yeah, so I I, I come from there and I know, you know, who could link any logic. Hello, Engineer Your Life family. A quick one. More than 87% of you are not subscribed. That means you continue to enjoy the episodes, you continue to grow, you continue to heal from the episodes, but you are not subscribed, which means that the episodes don't reach a broader audience. So to help us to reach a broader audience so that we can bring you bigger guests, we can bring you more experts in their field, I'm going to plead with you to please click that subscribe button on your screen now so that you continue enjoying the wonderful, insightful conversations that we bring you every single week. I hope you enjoy this episode. So there are aspects of my life um, that I will never reveal um, that are between myself, my Is, family, and we became um, and my who God. we are because of that past and that history. Mm. We became strong women mm. because we know who we are. Our fundis and all of that. I mean, I heard the, the audible voice of God. It wasn't the decision. On the bed, it was the decision. decision. Yeah. That one, yeah. <laughs> like Christ Himself. What was that about? Yes. I don't even so know. So you can't know. just trust um, the person who was able to initiate a relationship with your husband knowingly and trust them with your life with your kid a fancy restaurant um in a beautiful place in south africa and he left you with love them seven love them Ooh, babe he's not circumcised <laughs> <laughs> i meant our sex, our sex. I, mean, I already do, do it yes will it marry what you say you're doing which is so for me um going through your content because I've been exposed to your content for a while now. Yeah. And every time I go through your content, you are in gym tights. Sure. It shows good activity. <laughs> it shows good I'm always on the move. What is the significance behind these gym tights, bro? I'm comfortable. <laughs> um, I think it's more of, I feel like I'm comfortable. Um, I come from a place where you only judge by how you look. Yeah. So I realized with eight months, I don't have anything to prove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. Uh, I feel comfortable with this <laughs> team outfit, man. If, if, it's funny you say that. Um, uh, 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 DJ Swu, yeah. recently, he's been going through a phase where yeah. he's perceived to have lost it. Yeah. When in fact, um, if, you're a per- if you're a person who researches um, 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 the psychology of clothes, sure. you will realize that there are people who intentionally remove clothes that are perceived in a certain manner because yeah. they no longer want you to look at them for what the exterior presents, sure. but they want you to listen to what they're saying. Exactly. So DJ Swu, um, uh, 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 the controversy was created around him dressing down rather than the suits that we were used to, yeah. but instead that made it people watch him more. Yeah. Would you say that's something around the lines of your, your, your thinking behind it? Yeah, not exactly, but I think it depends on the audience. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are certain areas where I can never rock like this, mm-hmm. you know. I need to dress in a certain way because I know they're going to listen to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, well. mm-hmm. So uh, for now, for me, it depends on Ninda and then if if I make sure that I represent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, because I want to buy it, it's not a perception. They've been programmed to think, yeah. they've been programmed to think, they've been programmed to they've been programmed to think, 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 and I know they're gonna listen because mm-hmm. but what I think it's called. Yeah, so so 
you you are, 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 are in order to get the attention yeah. you are triggering that surface level attention span that they have exactly. yeah. that it, it, even though it may be vain and fickle mm. we are zuguti your first 10 seconds where mm. you've caught their attention exactly. by them seeing you wearing a certain brand or yeah. something that's tailored in a certain yeah. way so was they look balalele the meat of the content definitely because yeah. attention is currency yeah. so you know very well what you got to make sure that you give it you get that attention from them in order for them to listen to you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you got to use it, you know, the best you can. So, yeah. Why are you after people's attention, Melus? Uh, like I'm saying, attention is currency right mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm. So you got to have that attention in order for you to push whatever agenda you're trying to push. Mm-hmm. Everybody right now, as you can see, we are all in our phones, most of us. Yeah. What is that? That's yeah. attention. Absolutely. They got our attention. Mm-hmm. So... That's why it's easy for us to believe the narrative that they're trying to push mm-hmm. through social media and whatnot. You know, so attention is really important. Now, right? If you want to build something, yeah, you yeah. gotta get that attention. I love that you're saying attention is a currency because basically you're saying if attention is the new currency, currencies, mm-hmm. traditional currencies have been around for the longest time. Yeah. If attention is the new currency, then nobody will to not be participating in a currency. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because at the end of the day, you can try as much as you can to ignore the mm-hmm. fact of the matter is that social media is, is part of our lives mm-hmm. now. So most of in Bilo to Zilapan, so might as well just use it, yeah, you know, and yeah. get on with it and then make sure that you learn about it and make money out of it yeah, too, you yeah, know, because yeah. it's not just a platform just to Utumbo Nagal and Bilo you know, can't, you just need to use it. Your best abilities, since we have influencers now, you know, do whatever that you need to do. But the question is, who are you influencing? I, I, I'm going to come back to that. Who are you influencing question? Because I know it's a rhetorical question. Yeah. I want you to tap into a space where you say, Oma Lucy is seeking attention, for the lack of a better term, yeah. as attention, the currency, because he understands that yeah. in life you need to be an early entrant in yeah. order to be successful in the long term. Sure. Or are you seeking attention because there is a void and an ego element that Oma yeah. is trying to fill? I'm, I'm not seeking for attention, I mean, as a person, you know, but it's the message, you know, that I'm trying to say, that I'm trying to send across that, I want Abantu to buy Lalel, you know, more than anything. Because I, I already see how we think. I collect the data, and I've done research for the past eight years of my life and to see how we think. Whether it's Lalel or Makaya, or you're from America, you know. So the reason why I'm saying the message must reach out to it's because... That's what I want because the more you listen to Abantu, Abaning, that's the more our people are going to start, you know, changing and start having the same conversation that you are bringing to the table. Yeah, well, so that's that's what I'm, I'm aiming. Not to go to Abantu Bangu, you know, more than anything. I just want people to pay attention and be mindful of their situation at the same time and also the message itself that we are trying to put across yeah, well, with live conversation. Your message is intentionally for black people. You are saying, I need to save black people. Is it because nobody else is doing it? Or you feel that you have a different different ingredients in the manner that you do it with? I don't want to save anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, for so long, we have this um, thing. But all I'm saying is, I think we need to start thinking for ourselves, you know, and also come up with solutions for ourselves. For so long, people have been telling us what to do. So all I'm saying is, let's have conversation about what is it that we're doing? Yeah. You know, what is it that ends our life? Why must we normalize certain things? Why is it that we are only known for Avanta variety whether it's sports and entertainment. What can't we be known for our education? You know, what can't we be known for inventing things, you know? Why must it be about with I entertainment, Ito number one, you know, but we still don't own the entertainment industry. So all I'm saying is let's have this conversation and ask ourselves what is it that we owning? What is it that we are bringing to the table? Why must we consume everything? Mm-hmm. And there's nothing is he creator out there. Bro, but a, a lot of people have this gripe 
with yeah. motivational speakers. For sure. If you regard yourself as a motivational speaker, you can correct me. Mm. Ogoti, motiva- the motivation industry is all about conversation, conversation, yeah. debate, conversation. Yeah. When are we implementing? I mean, I'm a brother. If you look at me, you, I have testimonies too, and I share them. I, I'm not about talks. Mm-hmm. You know, I execute more than anything. I've managed to to create have a fan of a who are making money, like mm-hmm. serious money right now. I can point them, you know, who have bought houses now, you know, who own houses, who have helped their families because I am not about the talks, you know. People who come from our conversation will tell you, you know, I'm all about execution. Of course, it has to start with conversation. Of course, yes. Yeah, well, and then from there, we implement, yeah. find a strategy, then we execute. So I'm all about that. Lendo, your motivation for me, but I've understood one thing. Mm-hmm. So in order for us to fix conversation, then find a strategy in Puma And then we execute. So I'm all about execution more than anything. If you look how we started and where we are with the live conversation, you see that we've been executing, we're not mm. talking. How did you start, bro? Uh, we started at Starbucks. Mm-hmm. We normally like have conversations mm-hmm. and with the guys that we normally just kill up on a seven. So we have conversation about social problems, mm-hmm. our own problems. Some guys are married. They will share. And then whenever they talk, I would just get off my phone and then start recording. And then I started posting um, these conversations. So... I was at the back most of the time, you know, like back of the camera is how I like use my phone and record and start posting these videos on social media and then start trending and, you know, sorry. And then one um, brother of ours, oh, Mr. Mslang, he called me one time. He's like, you know what? You guys always have these deep conversations together. But imagine King Wutsi Nikuluma not to cause in not the people need to hear this, you know. Mm-hmm. Why don't you start inviting people over and having these conversations? You know, and then that's how we started. Yeah. Um, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm being intentional by asking what you because uh, Umuntu can see you now and look at the, the platforms you get invited to yeah. to speak and the, the caliber of people you address. But it's important in fixing black people, as yeah. you're saying, that they understand that everything starts somewhere. Sure. You know, as you're saying, it started with a coffee in hand at yeah. Starbucks. Yeah. Um, and you started posting. You weren't even in the shots. Yeah. You then went on to uh, uh, posting with, just with your phone. So yeah. exactly. to access what you don't have, True. Um, to get that bigger audience. Yeah. I just want you to speak on that, on using what you don't have to access what you don't. Introducing the epitome of luxury living. Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories, and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits. It's very important, bro. You, 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 you gotta use what you have. Yeah, when I'm to, you're not respected by what you say you're gonna do, but you're only respected by what you do. Yeah. You know, the market demands my results more than just ideas. Everybody's got ideas, bro. The only difference is people execute those ideas. Mm -hmm. So you got to start with what you have. I mean, we started, we have, we're going to be celebrating one year uh, this December at the pencil. Um, I only started with my phone and it has grown. For me, I was never wanted to. Bro, one year. Yeah. One. One year. 12 months. Yeah, it's 12 months. (laughs) 
you know, that's 12 months. Um, how this that's, thing that's is... That's crazy growth, though. Yeah, you, it is. You've got to admit that. And I... I, I um, sorry to interrupt, no, but you've got to admit that it's crazy growth because I don't want the next person to not see that as an anomaly and think it's the norm. Yeah. It's not every platform that grows in just a year. Exactly. I think it all goes back to what is it that you're bringing to the market too. You know, people are tired of one and the same thing. You know, if you're bringing something different, you definitely get attention. You know, for me, it was it was all about... Because even now, I'm going to You know, I always like... Until one day we were having the conversation and then this guy's like, I'll let the phone record down. And eventually I just recorded and I don't, I don't even remember what I was saying. And then that video trended. It went to half a million views, you know, within the space of, I think, two days. I mean, two weeks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So there was like, bro, you need to start, you know, talking more. And I was like, nah, I don't want to be known, you know. I'm better, you know, I'm mover, you know, because, you know, I'm right, you know. And then, so every time when we're having these conversations, they'll be like, come on, dog, please share, you know. So, yeah, and then it grows like that. So basically, going back to your question is, I always tell people, start with what you have, man. You know, you never know what Tunkulunkulu can do after, you know, because it's waiting for you to do something about what you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But the circumstances, bro, as black people, sometimes are so not in your favor that you feel, oh, go say, it's too little. Yeah, I think, bro. I'm jealous something. Very elevated. It's the They are not in our favor. Yeah. Nothing, bro, was built for us. You know, so, mind you, if you you can't always have excuses, bro. You find guys, who I always make an example with these guys from outside the country. They come here and they make things happen. Yeah. yeah. Why, bro? You know, they come from the worst, you know. Circumstances, exactly. hard conditions, bro. Most tricky, yeah. bro. Yeah. But they come here and they act all big shot because mm. they see opportunities, you know. So I think to we are, we, we, are, we are entitled our cool, especially small attack. So we always feel like somebody else must do it for us, mm, mm, you know, mm. and uh, we make all, all type of excuses, you know. So it's, it's, it's something that we still need to change. Yeah, well, we are, that's what we're trying to do with the live conversation because what we're doing is we're trying to, you know, renew our minds yeah, all yeah, over yeah. and make them to see with the other thing. Even if so I'm selling something, strategy and, and, and getting that a grand a week, that's something yeah. compared to Shal and waiting for the government to give you the fifty, you know. But but the, these guys from bro from the other African countries who come here, I I, I get that you say they come from horrid conditions, yeah. bad conditions, and they come here and make things happen, and many of them live yeah. good lives here. Um, but why then can't the South, the same South African black person do that? Because you said that black people everywhere have yeah. challenges. What, what fundamentally is wrong I with think- with us? Like I said, we've been programmed to think in a certain way and to, like I said earlier on, that we're waiting for some savior, someone to come and save us. Because everything, you always look up to the government. You know, we have excuses, and we love those excuses because they make us to feel good. And we're not you know. Just because I'm poor, because I'm Navazali, like bro, for cause like many, like you forty, I think it's not even forty. Aiko, aiko, you know what I mean? Exactly, but you're still complaining about who to afford Navazali. I mean, bro, yeah. come on, yeah, you know. So we we really need to help our people to realize that no one is coming to save you. Mm. You you gotta make things. For yourself, you know, you gotta do something for yourself. Cause when these guys come here, I get it. If you are foreign in any country, you don't know anyone. Mm-hmm. So when this into you can't go back home and cry. That's why I always emphasize and tell guys who, you know, man, you need to leave Lausa Lelecon, travel, you know, go anywhere and just find out to go to the survival and because we are created as these species would merely survive all the time. So if you are in a foreign country or a foreign place, Laos, Wukong, at that time, you're about to make sure that you make things happen for yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. 
if you're in a foreign city, there mm. there, are, there are things because of oh, oh, Zalilanga corner, sure. and you're not familiar with it. Yeah, there are life lessons that will teach you to exactly. grow up quickly. Yeah, because man, if Zalilem last man, dog. So man, what's in your trap? Like it's a step trap, and then you're well, you can't call man. You know what I mean? It's mm. easy for so me to. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, but yeah. if I'm in trouble, I can't come. <laughs> you know, I gotta make sure that I make things happen. Then yeah. find a way to sing Tolugu Langi. You know, yeah. but man, you langi as that. Yeah. You know, things are not working out. I might as well just give up and go back home. Mm-hmm. So it's easy. But if I know that, like, I have no one else there, he me, I'll make things happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do we undo this programming? And who programmed us wrong? I think for for, for quite some time, I'll say our education system. Uh, I'll also say our environment. I'll also say religion, you know. Hey, bro. So, but in order for us to really unlearn the nonsense, we still need to understand who we are as people. We are the only people in faith to ever lost in India, you know, and uh, we still don't know who we are. We're still trying to figure it out with this and one because you look how religion has messed us up. You know, I don't like this topic though, but it's like every Sunday, and then we look at Muslims. They only go in one place. You know? But we are the only people Abba split up. You know what I'm saying? But of course, Leon to Indians are a bomb again. Then you coming back to your question, which is how they will then we fix it. I think we need to still understand what the Snobani and and then try to fix the family structure as well. Because in King has said to Ninga cool and it can take us decades and decades to fix them. But it's talung mm, you know, mm, whereby mm, at mm. least we're saying, okay, let's get our family structure right. You know, and then he and will edit along the way. Because if I'm hearing you correctly, Uti, because even on in something as strong as religion and spirituality, we are mm. disjointed. Yeah. What are the chances of our being united in anything? Akon, I'll tell you something about ChatGPT, right? Right now, if you talk of AI, it doesn't know black unity. But it can tell you about any other thing. If, but you ask the AI, can you tell me about black unity? It won't tell you. Why? Because it has never been, it's not there. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. not recorded. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the only thing that is missing, whereby blacks can only come together for in their right, not mm-hmm. to debate that, you know. So I believe that unity can only come once we have an agenda for blacks once we have one a common you know uh vision yeah you know what i mean to say okay cool this is what we do i mean you look at they always have an agenda for themselves mm-hmm. that's why you find such things looting they defend is into that like yeah. crazy mm-hmm. we can't even defend our own people bro Oh, go on social media and just go at each other. It's like, come on, guys. But they will protect each other, you know. So that's what I'm saying. Inking has said to that more psychological than spiritual. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm. So we still need to fix la with you know. But I'm 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 thinking about Uguti. For example, you will say there are other races that um, show unity consistently yeah. all the time. But is it not because fundamentally they, 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 they exist in similar settings when they grow up, they have one religion that they, they conform yeah. to. Um, so many of their values and cultural yeah, sure. systems are, yeah. are, are the same. Yeah. And we are Zimbabwe and Uguti, we are very weird to people who we see are others, like yeah. we other people a lot. Sure. We have too much diversity. Sure. We are different in our tribes. Mm. We are different in our languages. Mm. We are different in our religions, mm. in our faiths. I mean, as black people, sis or Tonje, Gishabant babies are as Christians. They will fight between how you exactly. exact that, that Christianity yeah. um, or Amajos, whether you believe in Amajos or mm. Christianity. Uh, mm. So it, fundamentally, it's hard for us to be united. But so you, you can't blame us too much. But you, you, you get a Mandi and a Shogun. Mm-hmm. You know, if you make an example, like tell me, if you go to Chaswet, a Mandi Akon Amnyam. If you go to Phoenix, someone they are going to Akai. Why they are next to what Umlang? I mean, they are such as with Tamnyama, who are next to what Umlaz, a Malugish. It's by design, you know what I mean. Now, I mean, the air water, 
as one. You, you, you make, I'll make an example go that like I'm a, e, like your Nigerians, like your Igbos, and they don't get along mm. when they're that side. But when they're here, they do get along. Maybe like South Africa. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because by understanding, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I were to bring, let's say, a white woman, a black woman, a Muslim woman, um, and then sit them together and just interview them, and then say, okay, can you tell me about your man? You here, bro. You so bad as a talking to us as a issue. You so much as a lawyer to us as a You know, you so much as a shop as a team. But you hear the Muslim woman who talks to us about the Muslim man. Yeah. But yet. When you go deeper and see Langa Paga, we are born with the Muslim men, and Kulunga, they, are, they treat women like trash, dog. Like in that culture, Umtus Mame, I Luto, Agahambina Luto. You know, Umtabo Uncle Yenanje, Uintozo Salak Pella. But they will protect them, man. They will never speak bad about them, man. Wasagit. Ow. So it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, moving on from that, uh, yeah. I, I'll, I'll come back because I still want. I still think you haven't given me enough of an answer of how do we fix ourselves as black people. Right. I want. I want to know more about you, the person, yeah. because it's important that when 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 we encourage people to yeah. to, to think in a certain direction, our yeah. life story, as much as we can, or as what we want to share, we mm. share it with them. Okay, mm. uh, Yeah, grow up in Laz. Yeah. Uh, Ka A, a coco. I think we are about eighteen of us for room. Yeah, that's where <laughs> my mom was the only breadwinner. Yeah. Yeah, no cool. But yeah, but my mom was a breadwinner. No cool. I am by long of way very malaise. Let me just go in. I clear wood. Man, I'm a plate man. I give me pack. Walk pack with pack in a pan. You know what I mean? Yeah, walk pack with pack in a pan. Uh, that's where I grew up. That's why I hate poverty, man. Yeah, yeah. I hate yeah. it with passion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and Abandu, who've never been in poverty, love to comment about what poor people should be given and what yeah. poor people deserve. Yeah. Because they don't understand how dehumanizing poverty exactly, is. Exactly, my bro. That thing is, is a disease, man. I don't... Are you correct, land of it? Yeah, well, I'm not Again, mm. you know, month of it. That thing is designed, you know. It's designed, and I mean, I don't feel we into see 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 chablele. You know, that's why I always tell people, and it's one of the thing. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of people about on social media about Kulumanga when I was telling them that logish is toxic. A cool, you know, logish is toxic and in Indiana, bro. If you really want to be successful, pull me look shit. Facing each other. Ham, boom, a big move. That place is not conducive, bro. I agree with you. It's good to go in the right approach, sir. I fully agree. Yeah, so I I, I'm, I come from there and I know, you know, who could he lend any logic. People become defensive, make sure, Njal. Yeah, of course, because they're in their feelings. Yeah. They're attached to it. So it, that's why they would defend it because it's something that they love. I mean, you, you end up like to see embrace, mm. you born see right. You know, who was born with you? I poor. Just travel and then you realize, you no know, man, I, I, I was poor. Yeah. You know, because you see him peel up and they peel out there and you realize, you no know, man, they bring you poor. Yeah. So that's why they defend it because yeah. it's the culture that they love, they are in love with and the whole environment it makes them to feel good. It's so problematic, Ngoba. Utandi culture, mm. a toxic. Yeah. And you are simulating that culture to your identity. Yeah. I, I, I wish people could separate culture of mm. an environment and identity because mm. cultures are man made. True. You know? True. Uh, and your identity is not. Mm. Uh, and still be Exactly. Which means you haven't lost your identity and mm. your roots sure. But you don't have to continue existing there. But unfortunately, you can. Some people, I want Bamba now, Leon, to as as a show, and I keep, and I see, because who call a log on, Uti, Yon, and Menta, Abe, Uti, or etc. But it's not like that. I mean, they make it to. 
they make they can even make as far as make you feel bad as if like most of me they look shit con in the wrong mm. or if you don't want to come back and be part of what is happening there maybe con in the wrong i mean la panu son de lugo to tla le dream like say au pum god i know so pum god tla le ni dream e valen yeah so get to know where se mo so qali lo kuba nes gis Yeah, we have time. Mix it. Something so fickle, bro. Yeah, like you know, but you understand because it's not even fair to say something like that. It's mean. So Lindele, go on and tell us what you're going to do. Right? Because young king is thinking. Even the thinking yet is not thinking. But are we not part of the problem then, devil's advocates, by leaving and not being within the action and fixing from inside? No, you can't. You can't. People have been um, saying, "Would why can't we go a lockdown and have these conversations?" And, and I was like, "No, I can't go there. I don't want to go there because that thing is designed for Ruti Benjian. You know, I can the right thing up The best thing you can do is tata la boba bona with bane potential, but later outside and then go be born. Now bazo tata ba because ngai we change the under talk. Other than that." is a stress away and the next thing can us we hang yeah. how many movement bro have been started from a lot trying to clean the logic yeah. happy today yeah because i destroy i born abantu balaphana ngoba le anti design we kanjalo ukuthi ngaphumile uthi okuright so you're saying the system always wins so yeah. in your in your capacity however big or small you think you can be mm. find your tribe exactly so ohamu we school in city is identify ama chita o four or five fi was fun was a bend was a bend fix them up fix them up mm. because in hopes that they will mentor their next four or five exactly. each and that's the way yeah you keep doing that that's what I'm, i've been doing you know you keep doing that and you see a change in the growth you know And then kangane kangane ba vuleka mehla namba lo belanda babo nabo yabo kanjalo kanjalo because if uzo ya khona and thinking uzo fike ushi yo no no that whole system ya lapana is okubulala baba because abazwane in the right lap who ngiya si lo uthi lo ke still wrong but do you know that there are even educated people who've escaped illogish yeah. but illogish somehow still finds a way to follow them i'll make yeah. an example You're a medical doctor, you're 26 years old. Yeah. Uh, you probably graduated a year or two ago. Mm. Um with internship and the first thing you bought was a, a German expensive car. Sure. Uh, you have you have you have zero allegiance to Ilogishi anymore. Yeah. You don't want to go back. You don't yeah. want to talk to anyone. Yeah. So discover your sense in life mm. and you that's you now. Mm. Um are, are, are those people healed yet and have they really escaped the system no, or yeah. The old nabo bayo bayo ya bayo yenza at a different level. No, they don't have it. That, that's trauma. That's poverty trauma. Yeah. That's why they bought that car because they're still sad. But sad. I'm a trauma. I'm a bad dealer now. A poverty because we're so well up, you know. And then they think that by buying that car, maybe uzo dealer na la ma trauma is going to come. Meru dealer na leanto before understand who talks in the male and the put my car in a correcti the super ega car, but. buying a car or having a house la like, it won't fix it i need to fix it me and myself you know and admit to it be super guy so right now i'm say collab so my spending habits needs to change you know my behavior around money needs to change you know so you need to start treating even people right because there are people who think just because seven is in day it is born ava sawa batting abantu and then abantu bazo ba no mai can't i can't be anja bro sihlala nabantu sibhela nabantu and you need people and ibona abantu abakwakhaya abantu not well yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no such thing as self made that's nonsense <laughs> somebody else open yo but then nabantu lelo kam no it's just the marketing purpose of yeah. americans are very good when it comes to marketing so they will use such because some of those people are better mm-hmm. and like disappoint abantu abathi along the way so they they will say self made there's no such somebody else open the door for them somebody else share information you know they will call no muntu be bugel again so you can't be self made i i like that you say that because it it, it also affirms what you said about finding your tribe mm. for example you and i are having a conversation right now mm. um the audience is seeing you and i mm. because of the nature of attention as you're saying mm. we will get the glory 
from this conversation. Exactly. But because Njengu Bush, we are not alone. There's a team behind us of right course. now of who are making us. Thank that you. is a support system. And that is a door open. Exactly. And the other ones who are doing more work than you. Yeah, yeah. So you 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 can't take all the glory when yeah. you know you need people and that's how that's what we're trying to do with the life conversation. Let's work together. You know, let's come together and share these ideas and collaborate and and push whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're doing, tell us with the snacks is a group. And then we're gonna help you. Because that's what we need, bro. I mean, Lamanya Maris, I'm sorry long because I work with some of them and I've seen how they move. They move as a collective. You know, they, they move as a, in anything that they do, they're a collective. I'll tell you the honest truth, Jungle Basila. Then I own I trust. They all buy a lot of trust. Certain individuals, they came together and they formed their trust. Mm -hmm. They're making money, you know. So it's very important to work as a, as a unity, as a collective, and have one, you know, vision and one goal. You know, going back to the question that you asked me earlier on, how can we change Izimo Zabantawa Miyamana? Like I'm saying, we need to have one goal and one vision. Yeah. You know, the day you look at how these countries came to be, your China, your... The UAE, they decided, you know what, we're tired of this thing. You know, what is what is it that we can do? Okay, let's come together. What? I'm not told our servants. You look back in Russia as well. But they said, no, I'm not told our servants. I'm not going to do our servants. What we're going to do, we're going to make sure that we put in eight hours of work. We're working. We're only sleeping two hours. And then look at the country. It became what it is today, you know. So it's a matter of just having that leader who's gonna who's gonna have a vision and say, you know what, let's come together and start putting the work. Because to be honest with you, that's why these guys from outside when they come here, they say South African men are lazy. Mm. And you look and bell all of it but lazy talk. You know. But not to say every South African man is lazy, you know, but I think for myself, they are they are comfortable with getting maybe ten thousand or five thousand. Which is nothing now because of inflation. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't be ex over excited over that because if you look in 2021, 100 rand is in the 100 rand in 2021. This year alone, let's just into the lose over 223 rand mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. order for you to. So that's inflation. So in Pilia Bs, so you can't say you're comfortable with 25,000. Yeah, bro. You can't. That's why you need to work and find other source of income. You know, yeah. Is 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 uh, you, you speak of having the right leader who can shape the minds of people? Yeah. Would you say our laws and our democracy is killing us instead of, of freeing us? I mean, I bet so. Companies on it's fine, but I, I don't I don't believe in democracy. There's it's just it's just an illusion, bro. We're not free in this country, you know. You look the numbers. I work with numbers. They still don't make sense to me. You look at. The people that are holding it's still the same folks, bro. You know, and we can never blame them too, because black people also have money now, you know. But the problem is they don't have an agenda for themselves, you know. So you look at the mouths, even you go to how can be in my house, it's like few individuals that are taking my money. You know, I bank with them, school it's them, you know, uh, food it's them. Mm -hmm. My car, so Ev almost <laughs> everything, you know? Yeah. And then when you follow the money, it could not, it could not mm. move. Mm. So it's like, flip, I'm broke. I don't have money. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's just an illusion. You don't have money if you have a million rand, bro, in your bank account. Because even that, it's not even your money. It's the bank's money. Where, where's the black money? You did say there are black people who have money. Where, where's the black money in the country at the moment? Where uh, does it sit? I think, bro, you look at in terms of most of our people now they're into logistics or they're into mining. But the problem, they're scattered. Mm -hmm. When he get the money, he go and splash it and do all type of thing. But if we have an agenda or a vision, they was not going to spend money anywhere else. They were just going to come and fund these kids who are when I must start up businesses so that now this would let him seven, go kick him seven, and then we grow our luggage, you know, and that's it. And then we are in charge of our own things, bro. We like whether we would like way to whatever, even our banking system, we have our own bank, you know, it can happen, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's just that 
as long as they write why best my call into it suddenly a hey, baby laba or suddenly the racism this ah man bro they look for themselves they look out for themselves tina still you know and then we're going to play in them ah but they say say call it e call is up bro yeah they've put their money to build those schools mm-hmm. and you can't blame them if they introducing a culture you go see melek to e culture ya bro so you coming to their territory and you are telling them what must they do da ke madlana jengxane yakho ifaka come on bro build your own thing and then now so shall umthetho yeah yeah you know yeah. and that's the sad thing with us all that see and that but we don't want to build anything we just don't want to build things bro see funa ndi kufia sese se kugrand you know yonke ndi sese grand sese right but we can build for abanya bantu so which means the capacity to build is there it's there dog yeah. it's there you look at the whole city yeah. of devon yeah oba na bantu be big stina la pan of course oh dog mm? but they can't build for themselves mm? you know i have friends who work for this company we had a conversation one time with this guy lomchita there was an apartment that they were building up in florida by that of the apartment what big is tinalo out here as a pale you know but the day efunu go ngena lapana he said could it let him stop but he was the first guy what big is tinalo pa it's like who are you you know what i mean <laughs> but he was like but at the circle like, what do i know squaz and the security guard is a black person like you know what i mean yeah, yeah. what's our squaz And they couldn't say level like I'm supposed to be this thing now. Yeah. Yeah, they are new and they are pelele. But then who crack who owns everything he can get in any time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know. So, see I was walking about the band but the squad was like killer thing that is it. Once again, how do we bring this unity to be able to see just because I am a black millionaire yeah. or hundreds of millions in mining or in logistics yeah. or I've done construction work with the government or I've actually built a product that is in manufacturing and I've got a very solid product. Mm. How do I stop myself from trying to be a celebrity on Instagram because a lot of black cele- yeah. black, black celebrities are now business people yeah. and actually become an influential person on the ground mm. who's a venture capitalist to small businesses True. and grows these small businesses True. and incubates the small businesses True. because who my ning la my business ngeng washo ngekam ho where I am my owner as I can say I'm a celebrity. Say we say we say we brand ya up celebrity owner. Mina inte ngaya azu ukuthi eh ukuzibuza ukuthi uba u Johnny Walk asimazi. Sure. Uzibuza ukuthi uba u Gordons asimazi. Sure. Yeah. But what beg igama lakhe as a legacy. Yeah, exactly. Not ukuthi you are Instagram famous. That's true. No I think I think the first thing is to start do this not tabangi as individuals in anything that we do because that's the first step. Because if it says tabanga in even when we having this conversation we going to think individualism that's one of the biggest problem with with our people who to muntu icabanga line yet so kumele sicabanga as a group you know in anything that we do we need to do it as a collective and also we must emphasize ukuthi kubale yangana nokusebenza as a group and also show ukuthi it's easier man sebenza as a group who's in fear pump you know by it lali dog fellow man me my guy you know what i mean yeah. why because by understand ukuthi as a group I was but the sad thing is there's two fellow my little fellow so I mean after that they shine this sorry to say this switch you know what I mean see him bile and then what start after. again in January exactly <laughs> but if the little fellow is mali just to invest in a certain businesses then it was going to be different but lose yeah so so kala la put like say let's look at the bigger picture and start building as a collective not in the by individualism but I yeah so now blaba ba ma celebrate ba seven and mal I think we need to also show them the importance of working together how important it is and also anything yaz yo ngabantu bakithi ukuthi abanye abantu bakithi bakholelwa kahle kahle mese bevezelwa ukuthi kahle kahle you black you know no matter who shall up you are still black yeah yeah, you know, yeah I remember when we had um the the lentole Mandela at Phoenix. Yes. So we got a, a, a text message, you know, lad and then they were like um we need to present the resident address must be in you know in complex and stuff like that before singing, right? For me I was like, wow. So manje mo fela pa no zwe zaza pe resident. I think you print am ya. So there was a reminder again it doesn't matter. Mm. You're still going to be reminded. But la baba mbebe ngaye present. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it was yeah. only us. Mm-hmm. You know, so such things 
I think it's Kuanzima when Ubabon, if you see it even on Twitter, the minute we are reminded our position, then we start making noise. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then we forget after two, three days. True. Carry on as if like. True, true. Like, that's why they never take us serious in anything. Because Basa is cool. More talk and less of action. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Because even if with action, we are waiting for someone else to go do it for us. Yeah. But yeah. not us cool. And then it's push by. You know, until then we start taking care of ourselves and realizing it's our responsibility to fight for certain things and then making sure that we, we, we are behind whoever. Not only with words, but with action as well. Even with our money too, you know, we put our money in and also invest in these organizations that are trying to help black people. You 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 said earlier that you don't rate our education system. Yeah. Um, take me briefly through your schooling and and what I did you to, eventually decide to do? Well, I went to boarding school in NASCAR and then um, I tried to go to university, but there was no money. Uh, at home, uh, so I didn't finish, you know, varsity. And I also did Bible uh, college. I did theology there, you know. And Interesting. Then, yeah, I would have never thought. For yeah. umuntu <laughs> colors, good time I are wasting people's time. I've been a, a child of God, man, for the past eighteen years. Yeah, I've been born again for the past eighteen years, and um, and then I, 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 I am sorry, no, cool, I'm cool, yeah, you know, you're in church like no, yeah. It's like you're in church seven days, bro. The week you're in church. You know, at that time I didn't see anything wrong with it, but now I was like, nah, everything was wrong about that. You can't be spending so much time in, you know, because the whole thing, this thing is programming and shaping you. And then you're thinking, that's the world. Can't this not? You know, so we call and then you are two hours at No, man, you know. So I went to Bible college as well. And then I tried to apply and go to university, but then I was still making a lot of money at that time. I was like, I don't see a need for me to go back there. Yeah. The million dollar question, how are you making money? Well, but my only black breakthrough was only through Forex. Okay. You know, like first breakthrough of making so much money was through Forex. Then I started investing in properties. And from there, I invested in crypto. And then boom, we've been making money from there. How are you different for the people who, who spam our inboxes and our comment section? I don't do that. Saying trade with me, trade with me, trade with me. Nah, if man. if uh, oh, enjoying any uh, that's always the question. Why why is recruiting people so much? I don't. And then the forest industry is tainted with yeah. that, you I know. Don't. And and how do you how do you how do you feel about how the industry has been tainted by that? And because people really believe Ugoti forex is a scam. For me, I, I'm I'm not, I'm not surprised, you know, because really that's a narrative they want to put out there. And using our people so that our people don't make money. That thing has been there ever since for the past hundred years. They've been making money there. So how is it different? Banks do trade mm-hmm. in the stock market. Absolutely. They make money with our On money. On a daily basis. You know, with our money. You know, so uh, of course the industry probably has been distorted in, you know, in South Africa because of Amachi Dati. We have taken people's money. You know, we, we cannot deny that. You know, but back on the you know, but you know. So uh, but Forex is not a scam. Because I know millionaires mm-hmm. who make money in Forex. And I know guys that I've mentored as well who are millionaires today who make money in Forex. So there's money there. You know, but you need to know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's not into that you can make Korea, no, you gotta make that capital and then do a business after all. Sure. You know, sure. you can't say you lose money. We have lost money too. I've lost money many times. A lot of it too. But it was just one of those skills that you need to learn. But I'm growing now. I'm on Web3 and blockchain. That's where most of my money is now. Yeah. It's interesting that you say you've made and lost money because that's the that's the side that Labantu who have scammed people yeah. do not speak of. Yeah. Uguti, 
uh, forex trading is a science and with yeah. science mistakes are made of course and with science um, um sometimes science doesn't work in your favor yeah right exactly. it's it's mathematical statistics that's yeah. a science yeah and sometimes it doesn't work in your favor ask even banks sometimes True. they will invest something they wake up tomorrow it was a bad decision they, exactly. the stock market opens at 9 a.m yeah and they realize damn it wasn't a good decision exactly so that's why why when you are still winning mm. tata won all my fans mm. and diversify but they don't do that they blow it in the clubs because it's a culture you know they will never think of that that's why the guys that i mentor now i tell them all about that, that that's why i always tell them get money and buy income whatever amount of money that you have you must have something that's going to buy you another income so you diversify your money your money can't be in one place you got to put it in different places and making money every day so that's what I I I I tell guys most of the time because we we still have that mindset yo mkho lord yeah and then you're waiting for end of the month and it be like hambi anjalo you know and then la uthi ayo motho limali uqome we blow we pindu hambi ozame cause it benin you can't live your life like that you know because the goal is to be free, bro, and have your own time. But there's also the drugs factor, bro, um, mm. that I think also is part of the system, that the system has introduced largely to black people. Yeah. And a lot of black people who make some sort of money, Pelela love. Yeah, I mean, because Pelela, that's what makes them feel good. You know, they think by spending money in these things, they're going to feel good, but they're not, because they, wanna, they don't want to deal with isn't to have all these poverty traumas and some hohos as bad luck. You know, so they think by posturing and showing what he, hey, look at me, maybe listen to so hard. By hard, be hard. This is what you pack at. You go early, mali na yon kene ngane zikera dig. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Until you deal with these things, you know, because at the end of the day, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, you need to face them yeah. and deal with them. But now they think that by buying an expensive car, because bro, you know for a fact, there's something between tanda. You know, once you get it. It's like yeah, what? I was speaking to a friend yesterday. Um, he just bought a car. Mm. So naturally, it's, mm. it's it's something that you love that you've done. Yeah. By the way, there's nothing wrong with buying a car. Yeah. That no. you love yeah, and that course. you enjoy. Yeah. But the the issue is that even the the, the your dream car. Yeah. six months mkulu and it's still a big thing to you. Yeah. Mkulu six months. Yeah. Month three, the the the, the right. excitement wears off. Yeah. Same. I, and 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 because maybe the financial decision was so bad exactly immediately yeah. no post no, that day mm. at all then comes month end yeah the yeah. money is gone selling no 2000 <laughs> <laughs> i'm saying i was like right because he regret it, you know, yes. but he can't say it now because so fun paint a picture of Muntung as what he's doing well. Yeah, yeah. Can't he's not. Yeah. Can't there's nothing wrong with by taking my steps are right some and until so, you make so, the right financial so. decision and get that car, you know. Yeah. That's the problem because ain't anything as in that sense a band to fit. Yeah. I mean, your friend buys a car, John Bush, from my now, so I him, so it's You know very well it doesn't make say, financial sense cool sure. at that time. Yeah. But just because of you know, it all goes back to where we come from. Then to the car, bro, I'm, these behaviors, I mean, I always say, in case you check, check who's going to fill up. They will tell you who's going to be a we basically, as you said, we lived on top of each other for so long exactly. that we are just congested. Yeah, and then think. we always want to compete because even our schooling system, number mm. one, number two. Like, I don't get it. I mean, if it's if it's scary, like, I, I even asked this one time when I was in school because the out game, and I'm telling this guy, my aunt, and then he a shower. But I was like, because I'm trying to explain this mm-hmm, thing to him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's where Lento it's like emotional because what are they doing? They saying, "Hey, when unge is game for us." Don't seek help, you know, because yeah, you don't, don't know, help. bro. Yeah. But ni yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Why me lusha we ugu tu kopele game? What are they saying? Unga linge uze for us. And don't seek alternative help. Only ask the teacher for help. Exactly. And the teacher, if she's limited to giving all fifty of you one yeah. hour a day, and you guys must try and 
or get her attention, yeah. then whatever. Yeah. Don't ask for help. Some of the teachers won't even give you that help. Yeah. Because they don't have time. Yeah. Until maybe some boy in special then So now what is it? It's in you going into from as long as I live. Yeah, it's all too It's not too long. It's also too long, but just because you can't. You can't. Man, you cool now. You learn to. Anything, anything ends with a way. My relationship, now nah, anyway, we are too long. Yeah. At work, we are. Bro, it's also smart to clown people. I've met guys, bro, in live conversation. Who are so smart. You know, but they've never believed in themselves. Because mm. nobody ever told them, who take say, you can do this. All you think about is, I mean, I'm writing you. Sevens are long, sevens are cold. And then you realize when you, once you have a conversation with them, you're like, fuck, bro. Hey, we can't peel the talk, you know. You can't do this. And then start like building that confidence. Because I eat cooked in a special thing. I'm out, yeah, bro. So that's why it's a malacon, you know, because well, that's what I'm saying. Like our education system is outdated and it's not working. You look even in the marketplace right now, the things that these kids, as they found out, nah, let's be realistic in South Africa, right? Like, even in universities. That's why I always say, some of these universities, we need to sue them because courses that they're teaching these kids or degrees that are not even there in the marketplace. Mm-hmm. But they still take money from these kids to study these things. But you, know, you ask yourself, because I eco, like I exist in the market at all, bro. Not do what seven like, like I eco in the marketplace anymore. You know what I mean? But they still take money. And say, okay, so how, bro? You know? So those are not a problem that we're having because even our education system is nonsense. And it's only produced workers. Not And we are very good in that thing. Like, go, Pete, this time, bro. Because now, but we're waiting. But we're waiting. But we're waiting. Something more, more deeper um, mm. as we move on. Hey, so it was about this trailer. Instead of. People, will, people love looking at snippets, clips. Yeah. I mean, that's... And misconstruing them mm. instead of coming to the conversation and listening to the nuance. Because that's what we, we, we are used to now. Yeah. Because everything is... 30 second uh, segments. Yeah, everything. It's just everything you need. You need food, Ubers, yeah. You mm, need mm. Uh, relationship, you go on Tinder. So yes. everything is just quick now. Yeah. So even these even conversation, no one wants to sit and just listen and, and, and understand, you know, the context. No one. I want to go back to you've been born again for 19 years. I want yeah. to speak about faith and yeah. your, your your spirituality um, and where you are with that at the moment. You say you've been born again for 19 years. Yeah. Biblically, it says that once you are born again, you can't be unborn again. Sure. But you also said that yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, umzalwane that you were then versus mm. now, what is the difference? Yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I think I'm more open now, and I was close up at that time because the 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 when in Dekon especially with Christianity, Yoguti, uh, they say the Bible is the only Bible, you know that Ogumele. And then that's it. I don't believe in that, you know. Um, I believe in in being open, you know, to so many things and read as many books as you can because simply, you know, there's life out there that you need to live. So for me, at that time, we were taught, I'm a don't go cool, you know, don't do that, don't do that. You know, also, there should be a balance, you know. But you can't tell me I'm a, I'm a don't prepare. You also need to tell me about I'm a do's too. It's okay. And why? Because my thing is, that's a problem with even all my leaders that I've had in my church. Because they used to say, because I will ask questions, you know, bro, like, why? You know, because I believe in that. Even Jesus himself, he asked God many times a lot of things. So why is a problem for us? Must be and it's like, why are you talking about this? You know what I'm saying? So back then, I was more religious. I won't lie to you because it was always about don't do this because God is going to. No. Then I realized as I grow, no, this thing is a relationship. I need to have a relationship with this person, get to know him, and then he also get to know me. So 
it should be personal. So I don't think Kukulunkulu is, is this God that was introduced to me to that time because Bolo Kukulunkulu who's ready to strike you the minute you do that wrong, you know what I mean? So you always walk like, and then as I grow and I realize God is not like that though, you know? And I get to read more and understand more, even for myself as well, you know? Then I realize, no man, this thing is personal. So now I'm in a space where I'm free, bro. And I ask as many questions as I can. Because every day I challenge myself to ask questions. Because the thing isn't that I don't understand. Then why is it there, you know? So, and that's one thing I always say, foot again, which when I get to heaven, if there is a heaven, that's the first, thing, the first question I'll ask God is, why is there no That's it. That's the only question <laughs> I look forward to. Yeah. Because I feel like something is not right, bro, with a black person globally. You know, it's like, no, man. correct. <laughs> you know, because you look, bro, it's like we are nowhere. And yet we've done so many things in this world. But irrespect, you know, and we have to prove ourselves all the time, all the time, every day. In anything that you do, you got to grind 10 times. Anywhere in the world, it doesn't matter even if it's soon a man. You know, you look at all these black billionaires, they still need to prove themselves. You know, like, why? Why? Well, it's like, and then you realize, nah, something is not right somewhere. So, do you think God hates black people? No, he doesn't. I doesn't. God doesn't hate black people. I think in King Yid, going back to our conversation when we started, we don't know who we are. We don't know, bro. We always want to prove ourselves. If you're good at what you do, you're good at what you do. Why must you prove? Right now, we have an incident that is going on on Twitter where a person was saying he's a doctor mm-hmm. and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And everybody's coming for that. Now, the Konabanya Baba visa, why must we waste so much time in there, bro? We have we serious problems. For the past week. Bro, we have serious problems. Yeah. We don't have eggs in this country. Yeah. I'm a kind of dog. Yeah. We're going to be buying our eggs out from outside. But we are worried about... Simple example. In Blasi, there's a million citizens. Yeah. A million citizens con- congested in that, mm. in that township. Sure. Um, the reason I'm using this is that as black people, we have strength in numbers. Sure. Imagine if every single one of the people in Mlazi, mm. everyone, everyone, mm. had bought a chicken laying egg. Yeah. And the nanoguti, it's not an egg laying chicken. Sorry, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And the nanoguti, it's not what I'm going to do. Now, it's not in the world. I'm going to do it. Yeah, what happened? To it? <laughs> you know what I mean? What happened? And we still have black farmers mm. who are producing. I'm going to But the thing is, nah, but they are not together. Mm. If bang a thang and then they can meet. They can scale up. Exactly, yeah. but they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that because Zulona lo funo chablela nyukbone post it. I'm a black farmer on social media. Come on. In fact, you can you can scale up. Nifagi mali niti uh no munyoga lochi sticks. Okay, we're gonna start importing using you. Yeah. Because I work like South Africa much the chickens in South Africa are sick. Okay, we're gonna import using you from a country that is cheap. Yeah. Um we're gonna go to that country and say we have this much buying power, so you need to sell it to us at a lower rate. Exactly. But we're not gonna do that because lending is sure with individualism, if I were cool look it. You know, and we always want to be seen as I'm the one who started this thing, the first black. This, I hate that nonsense, bro. We're still the first black person. No, because it's been in the You know, so yeah, man. We're nearing the end of of our show, mm-hmm. and and just something I, I'd like to ask many of our guests, of my guests, before we conclude, mm-hmm. is in your life, what do you think you know for sure? That would land or Personally, I don't know anything. Eh? Like I was saying, I'm asking questions every day and I'm still trying to figure out things. So that's why whenever I talk to people or I mentor guys and I tell them about or show them a skill on how to make money or whatever, I tell them, don't act as if you know everything. Mm. Be a student, bro. So I'm a student. For me, I don't believe the economy. You know, that's my truth. You know, but now I can never 
impose my truth to you, which I change, you know, believe now. You know, you need to do the research on what we born and learn, you know. So I do not have in dirty land to engine, you know. But I do believe that there is a God, you know, out there who's watching me, who, who brought me here for a reason. So, and right now I think I'm living my purpose. You know, this is part of my purpose. So, yeah. Uh, the show is Engineer Your Life, and I'm Lungel, okay? Um, he is Melusi, uh, on Purple Shepherd. Yeah. <laughs> Purple Shepherd. And he's unconventional in the way he thinks. Um, it, this has been an insightful conversation for me because, as, you, as he said, he's a school dropout, but he didn't let that stop him. Ukulele Mlazi, he said that food was served on the floor sometimes because there was not enough table space where he lived. It was just a four bed, a four room house. If you're not from the township, or you may not know what's in a four room, it's a two bedroom house with a really small lounge and a really small bathroom and a really small kitchen. So if he's been able to live beyond that and grow and build himself beyond that, I hope that you too have been inspired to enact decisions that will make you live beyond that. It's me, it's my Lucy, it's the dogs in the background. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. To watch the full video, click the join button and become an Engineer Your Life member.